Fascinating. Don't you dare put me back on that map. I've seen enough of that. So this is the house, huh? I think I've used that generic knocking sound in something I made in the past. Sounds familiar. Yes. Password is Verde. Enter. You're last. The last one has arrived. Hey, bomber. This past month, this past month has taken its toll on you. Can you breathe okay? At least Python. Yeah. Oh, let's try not to attract any attention to ourselves. Walks around with my custom like dual holsters. Jeez. We meet again, bomber. See, so all managed to hook up. Good. Yeah. We got to. We got OCT all over the place, though. Looks like everyone did good. You know, they seem less wild than before. Back in the shipping yard, they were seriously unhinged. Just like Bomber said, we needed to keep on moving. But you know, it was still pretty risky. We are able to say that because we made it. And honestly, the team leader is getting ahead of himself. The heck, you got a problem, huh? No, no, it's just my opinion as an outsider. Letting you guys use this house is a one-time only thing, okay? We're even now, Laura. Yeah, thanks for the help, Marco. Sorry for coming to you. I know you're legit now. With a city in this shape, not even the slums are safe anymore. So I figured getting together in a nicer area would keep us safer from the OCT. Until a few years ago, we were Rosa family members, and you've helped me out a lot. But now I've got a new family. I can't help you with your tightrope act anymore. Python's ex-mafia buddies, and they're all over the place in Laplace. And they're all over the place in Laplace, or they're all over the place in the place. Python being well-known was a big help. Okay, we're all here now, so that's one step out of the way. Let's take a little break. A break? This isn't the time for relaxing, we gotta prepare for the next mission! Gotta restock and refuel. I'm not relaxing. We made it here by constantly dodging the OCT. Everyone is exhausted. Especially you, with that handicap. Don't bother hiding it, your breathing is labored. Oh, <laughs> hormone breathing. <laughs> Fine, just a quick break though. I have some cops, like, coming through the window. That one uh, clip of the SWAT teams is raiding the house. Oh, that's some combat. Hut there. Is it me or do our sprites look a little different? He looks so hunched over in a way. Oh well. Damn, what a big house. Yeah, it really feels like a rich person's house. I mean, it's the upper region, so no duh. What's with rich people and living on hills? I wonder if Noelle's house is like this too. I mean, not anymore, right? It's got ruined. No, I bet Noelle's house is like a way bigger mansion. But damn. Even a girl from a proper rich family can end up like that, I guess. Yeah, how many limbs are we missing now? I lost count. In that case, I guess. It doesn't make any difference if my parents are rich or not. Yeah, that's just how you are. Alright. Since I see the potion thing, I'm only presuming that there are items around. Sorry for using your place as a meetup point. It really helps, though. Don't worry, we'll leave soon. Yeah, please do. <laughs> please, get out! Don't screw up and blow up my house either, or my wife will kill me. Apparently you're ex-mafia, but you've gone straight now, huh? Gone clean! Done with the Rosa family, the rules, and got completely out of the underground. Laura became Python, and I got me a girl. The format may vary, but now everyone's got their own new families. Hmm. Huh? Wait, who's Python's family? Well, the gang from the steel mill, of course. Now, I got no idea how you all do things, but back in my day... Those guys, they've all teamed up together with you, right? If you're running things, make sure to take care of those guys. Don't keep things all bottled up. Go let your feelings go, man! I've never been holed up for a whole month before. Must have been hard, huh? Yeah! I wonder how it feels, huh? We've only been sitting here for like... Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! This marks my ninth week of being holed up. Alright. And here I am. 
Yeah, we've both had it rough. I mean, I guess so, but as for me, I like staying in and keeping quiet. Oh yeah, well, at least I'm getting paid, so I can't complain about that part. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess so. You do, don't you? i totally forgotten about it recently. But it's been a while since we've gotten mixed up like this, huh? Yeah. I'm impressed that you've stuck with the mission this far. Nobody is forcing you, right? Yeah, ever since the fight at the Oishi Fortress, every day has been kind of a blur, but... Still, it's way more fun than being back in the facility. I may not look like it, but I'm actually pretty pumped. You go, dude. Give us nothing. Love that energy. You know, sticking with you is a good idea after all. Hmm, I see. Hey, don't say stuff like that on my account. Just think about yourself and keep on going forward. We both started out as Rosso, but now he's a mansion in the upper region. I'll always be just a lowly gangster. Oh well, that's just the sad reality, I guess. What the hell are you talking about? You could easily bought a house, too. Yeah, I don't know about that. Of course, I could have gone down that path, but... Lord, forgive me for what I must do. Realistically, even if I manage to get some money, I don't know if I've been happy with that. You know, you look like you've got your stuff together, but you're all messed up on the inside. Not me who messed up. Who's messed up? It's this town where nobody can amount to anything. It's the system, man! Oh yeah? You think that way. Okay, got a point. It's this accursed system, man. I'm gonna listen to some of uh, some tracks by the doors now to mellow out. By work, they meant cleaning. That and grocery shopping. This really is grunt work. Oh, I got the little angry eye. Oh. Whatever, nothing I can do about it. I'm a newbie after all. And it's peaceful here. But like, why are you here doing the grunt work with me? Uh, I'm also new here, so. Huh? But Laura said you were my superior. I came here about a week or so before you. So she's my superior by a week? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Well, I mean, she's still been here a lot longer than me, I guess. Um, clean a little better. Loro, he's really picky about cleaning. If you just do it quickly like that, he will never let you do anything else. <laughs> We're gonna teach these fine gangsters about proper work ethic. Hmm. Fugo, um, good work. Like, seriously. Huh. Oh. Um, would you like some water? Here you go, please. Drink up. Stay hydrated, sweetie. Uh, thanks. Can this dude drink through his mask? I don't really know a lot about, like, drinking features through gas masks, but I assume that some of them had, like, ports and whatnot. So, uh, what do you guys want? Promotion? Mm hmm? Well, nothing really. Why are you hanging around here like that? It's creeping me out. No, it's just... I thought maybe there's something we could help out with. We, uh, stay here a lot for free, and we're new here, so... Okay, look, don't bother with that kind of stuff. This is just an abandoned building. I don't own it or anything. Really? Your name's on it, I think. Thank you. Listen, I'm not here to look after you two. And the others, they're all here in their own volition. I just let them do what they want, because it's pain to keep kicking people out. I know what Laura said, but the same goes for everyone. You gotta look after yourselves. Get that into your heads. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't come here to be Fugo's henchman. I came here so I could be like him. Gotta get my stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Shoot, just how many of them are there? Looks like Laurel and them are out for the day. Bomber's henchmen think they're bad. Screw those jabronis. Interesting. Crud, I'm stuck. <laughs> Got you now. You look like you'd be quick to throw down, but you run away. That's your mommy, little punk. No. Yeah. Screw you, you idiots think you can judge a book by its cover. Losers don't know Jack. What'd you say, you little prick? Some bass in your voice now, huh? Some gravel for breakfast. This town isn't a place for little bees to be getting all high and mighty. Got ex-mafia backing us up, you know. Anselmo. Anselmo? From Bianco? Go and talk to him. 
Ooh, that looks like it hurt. Uh-uh. What? Zoe! I, I didn't think you had it in you. There's another one. You little... We're, we're not just henchmen. To go equating us with losers just like you. Okay, well... Great, they're just gonna trash talk each other to death. Oh dear. Man, that guy just like... Got voided from existence. <laughs> so... We're we storing up trouble over stupid stuff. We don't need the cops eyeballing us. Shoot. I don't think this is over. Okay, but like, for real? Did we just witness Figo vaporize that one guy? Like, where'd he go? <laughs> Loser up top, losers down below. We'll just let this guy bleed out in the alley, I guess. I need your health, this is just my... Those guys are messing with you out in the town, yeah? Feel free to fight back if someone starts something. But those guys, they work for Ex Mafia, you know. Be careful. Be careful? That sounds like... Like, you're actually worried about us, right? I said I wasn't going to be looking after you. I did it because I don't like those guys, that's all. Babaka! Fugo. See me? I'm playing the, the world's smallest violin. Thank you. You two, you might not look like much, but... I have great expectations for everyone here! And you're like, why did it come to this? Nope. Never mind. Next time some losers like that mess with you, handle it yourselves. Yeah, that's what's up. Got it? <laughs> I realized just now that, I guess if you go back and look at it, uh, Loro's sprite has his two really long, like, pistol holsters down his hip, and I thought those were his legs, so I thought it was like, who, is he wearing shorts with his gun belt? But I guess that actually was just his gun belt. Hey, that's what's hot this season, you know, it's like, uh, cargo shorts and two revolvers. Wake up. It's like revolver ocelots and jorts or something. Slug, wake up! Uh, Slug, you're finally awake. It's about time. Break's over, time for a strategy meeting. Damn it. Okay, fine. I got right. I guess it is pretty important. This dude's just in the background. The uh, the owner of the house, like, oh please, please get out. A dream. That was like a nostalgic dream. But this isn't the time for that. Got to wake up and focus. Got to make money. Plus is overrun with OCT. We got to figure out how to meet up with Noel and Co. Noel and Co. Demon contract since 2016. The finest establishment. Noel, Karen, Oscar. You can't get a hold of anyone? How about the smartphone? Nope. I tried contacting Oscar several times, but no dice. Uh, Noel kicked me out of her Discord server. Pretty sure he might have, must have gotten taken in or something and lost his smartphone. What if we had that, like, taken heel phone, you know, in the, in the shoes? It's not really the time to be out looking around either. Maybe if I go around blowing stuff up, they'll notice. I mean, go for it. By all means, help yourself. It's like the first time we fought with them. <laughs> <coughs> nice! The OCT's gonna... poop their pants. Mira Burroughs obviously knows Noel is back. I'm doing- I have a terrible track record for this video between, like, swearing and not swearing. I usually try to refrain, but it's just like, okay, you know, whatever. You're getting this video no matter what, so... Everyone wants it. Mayor Burroughs obviously knows Noelle is back. Do anything flashy and we're gonna get found. We gonna get caught? Bummer. Let me come up with something one more time. One more time. What do you mean, one more time? That's not like you. Right now, you're not in the greatest physical condition. Us threes are the only ones left in the steel mill, and we're in the minority. We've got no base, and the enemy is all over Laplace. Put simply, our chances of winning are slim. What are you trying to say? Why don't we just, like, I don't know, poison the water supply or something mundane like that for a castle siege? We should rethink the timing of our next move. Great idea! I'll get us a, uh, an Airbnb and we'll lay low for a bit. Seriously, Python? That's not like you. I've been with Bomber for a long time myself. I've got nothing but respect for that energy. But at this rate, not only are the guys from the steel mill, but Noel and them too may be impossible to hook up with. I can only imagine that right now, Noelle is still, like, just kind of cruising around the city in that stolen cop car or whatever. Of course, it's up to Bomber, though. Hey, you guys. Look outside. 
Uh oh, it's the police. What's up? You know what I realized so far is that we haven't seen any CGs. I need a, I need a thumbnail for this video. It's the OCT, and for the upper region, there's a lot of them. They don't usually come around here in these numbers. What? Have they found us? No. They seem too calm for that. If they found us, they'd be more like OCT emergency procedures or something more amped up, you know. Yeah, they don't seem like they're about to go into battle mode. Something's up. On our way here, we had several run into the OCT. They must have analyzed the times and locations where they saw us. And use that info to figure out where we'd be now. Huh? See? Energy alone won't get you anywhere. At times like this, you need Laura to stay cool, right? But even so, I've been sticking around for too long, so we gotta get moving or we're screwed. If we sit here and do nothing, we'll fall right into the OCT in Burrow's hands. Am I wrong? Okay. If that's your decision, then I'm gonna support it. Do not make me go back out there. I do not want another 30 minutes in that freaking mini game. It's okay, Python. Bombers always come through like this. Be able to get past the OCT. Let's do it. Battle? Fine. Like that weird. Oh, we're gonna move people around like a chessboard? No more. No more of that. Yeah. Let's go full on and scare the crud out of those bastards. That was good. That was really good on my part right there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move. Let's get out of here before we're locked in. I don't suppose at this point I should just start playing Arknights on the side. Uh, I'm gonna E1 Charon just so that we maximize our chances of winning. Oh dear. If we were to move, where would we go? No, we weren't able to work out the next mission, but... For now, I want to stay hidden. The worst case scenario would be this whole area getting locked down. And that's getting shut in here. Well boy, you know, that's the news for you about the real world. The shipping yard all over again. In that case, anywhere's okay if the OCT doesn't find us. Yeah, we gotta move as quietly and as far away as possible. If I use the smart glasses for heat detection, I can tell whether there's OCT close by or not. Snake, use the solid eye to look through walls and try to cut out a safe path. Alright. Yeah, I'm glad this is the kind of mission I can get down with. Get down? At times like this, your smart glasses actually help. Oh shoot, I forgot I was running recruitment in Dark Knights. Oh! What do you mean, in times like this? Fascinating. I just watched uh, one of my friends play Zero Escape, and the, the smart glass beeping monitor sounds like the noise for the bracelets. Alright. Things giving off heat. Ooh, visually, okay. Oh, can... Hey, that sensor, it's reacting to the cat, isn't it? Can we pet the cat? Looks like it. Don't worry about it. Let's go. No, I want to pet it. It's so cute. You got a bunch of dupes in Arknights, dang it. Okay, that... Want to keep going? Yeah, maybe walking right into the OCT truck isn't a good idea. Oh, we can't go that way, huh? Light post? Let's see, it looks like it. Okay to pass. Okay. Oh, so this is a path. Sure, let's do it. Wait, let me look real quick, see if I have any top operator tags. I don't. Dang it. Okay. Okay, that's bad. Well, that looks clear. And the people in that car? I mean, the rating seems pretty low. Let's drop a save here, too.
Ooh, an item. Ointment. Cool. Okay, this looks clear. Oh, cool. We did it. Kind of wish we had that uh that splinter cell, like the noise that the goggles make when you light them up. A hype is like, mm. A good sound. What's up, Python? It's been a little too quiet. It's a pincer attack. It's weird. Huh? Therm optic camouflage. Huh? What is it now? There's a subway station close by here. It's kind of half closed off. There's an old underground shopping arcade. Does anyone actually call it a shopping arcade? Is that like a... A regional language thing? I always thought it was like malls. I've never heard the phrase arcade used in the US. And yet, there should be more people around. I'm using the smart glasses to check for heat sources, but there's nothing. If Rebellio is in fact immortal slash dead, does he not give off a heat signature? Now that I think about it, not only is nobody around, but I can't hear a thing. You know, for evening in the middle of town, this is a trap. Like, maybe we've already entered the area the OCT shut down. Nope. You didn't enter it, pal. You were lured in. What? The OCT? No way. Where'd they come from? There are no heat signatures from any of the buildings. Amateur heat sensors like that. All we need is a single piece of equipment to trick it. I see. Going up against the military, I guess these things happen. Was it thermoptic camouflage? What's going on? Someone tell me, please. Why I'm switching faster. Okay. We moved around under total cover. There's no way we could have been ambushed. It's simple. This morning, we weren't even looking for you. We were relocating our soldiers and wherever you might have been. We simply lured you here. So I guess we were right in the palm of your hand. We messed up. I'm anti-terrorist unit, OCT major, and also currently Laplace Special Forces unit captain, Dratton Bergman. These are their stories. In the name of the OCT, I'm removing you from Laplace. <laughs> alright, alright. I don't think so. Bet. We're screwed, Bomber. It's not just this unit, they got way more men than we do. Yeah, one false move and we're gonna get gunned down. Huh. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, he ulted. Huh? Stun grenade! Flashbang through the door! What? What the hell? They got us surrounded and have their guard down. This is the perfect time. Just as I planned it. Oh, he just tried to suicide the Major! <laughs> what happened? That didn't work. Guaranteed. Bomber went for it. Must have gone off with the captain. He popped off! Not even the captain could do anything to stop a flame attack like Bomber's. Isn't his power flame? From what we saw in the office earlier when he shot... Whatever his face was, the immortal dude. Nice! F. Oh, look at that heat wall, wow. Flames won't work on my red-hot equipment. Huh? That wasn't Bomber? Huh? An iron wall? It can't be! You're... a demon. He just shook off my all-out attack. With the same heat-based power as me. Oh, wow. No. Bomber! What? Why is there a demon in the National Guard? Man, this quarantine really... really be doing things to people. You know, the soldiers, why are they acting like nothing happened? They're fine with a little explosion or two, and they'll go right for the opposing leader. That was a nice little show. But I give you zero points. Two thumbs way down. <laughs> what? Anyone can suddenly throw a stun grenade and, you know, stun someone. Did you know stun grenades stun? I always thought that was interesting. But even if you were able to get me, that would have started a full-on shootout. And you, along with these three idiots who just ate a stun grenade at close range. <laughs> you think you can take on all these armed soldiers surrounding you? Don't just look at the pawns in front of you, look at the entire chessboard. So a weirdo loner. So did a weirdo loner who can only play rough really make a contract with a demon in search of power? Ugh. Bonner. If you've been planning this, you gotta signal us for help. Well, he was planning on getting you all killed if that was the the reality of it. <laughs> is this really the bomb demon that everyone is all up about? It's an idiot kid who jumps on anyone that crosses their path. 
Do your idiot lackeys understand what's going on? Why you're helping Noel? Fighting and moving and whatnot. Why are we helping Noel? I can't remember. Like, genuinely. Are these losers all caught up in your little buzzwords? Are you a terrorist or a gang leader? I can't even tell. You just look like a little punk to me. What'd you just say? You know jack about bomber. Who the hell do you think you are? Back off, slug. Hold it back. This isn't the mafia or one of the mayor's goons. It's the National Guard. So demon or not, if you want to get off that FBI's most wanted list, better stop that right now. As long as they don't, as long as we don't fight back, they can't attack us any further. Ah, bold of you to assume that they're not just gonna execute you here. Bomber, you okay with that? I'm letting some jerk like this guy talk to you like that? He gon' instigate! Bomber. Hey, punk, let me tell you something. Putting yourself on the battlefield legally, getting the shield of the law, the sword of military power, and the right to use them. That is true power. He just, was this one big, like, army recruitment thing? Oh. Oh, dear. Hole! Hmm, even my ears plugged. That's loud. Hole, Gordon. Since we're talking about bomber here, in an unfortunate accident, there could have been a gas explosion or something. Collapsing the whole ceiling of the underground shopping arcade. Could happen. Isn't that right, Living Dead? What's this gas explosion BS? Gas leak? Yeah, gas leak. You made me clear the whole area, set up a bomb first thing in the morning, and call it a gas explosion? I mean, did that not just- did that not kill them just now? It looked like it, but the floor simply gave out. They're probably weakened from the fall. But don't underestimate them. Throw a few grenades in there. Up top, where anyone could be watching, we can't just shoot captives in the street. And so that's why, you an immortal and a demon, go down underground where nobody's watching and deliver the killing blow. This reminds me of something I read in, um, the movie on Netflix is Six Days, I think, about the embassy siege in London, the Iranian embassy, and I remember reading on Wikipedia when I looked up the incident that it was the, uh, the SAS took over the, the capture operation, and so they shot most of the people, or the hostage takers, in the embassy dead, but one guy survived, and I think they were prepping to drag him back into the embassy so they could shoot him outside of camera view, but they got caught by the news crews, so they had to, they had to let him go. So, yeah, it sounds like these guys are just about on par with any other military in the world. If not a little better, because there are some real nasty military people out there, I guess. The other units will seal off the entrances and exits. That's enough extrapolation. I'm sure you're here for this game. Keep an eye on the building, and if possible, keep moving. I may be immortal, but I won't be able to move if I'm buried alive. If the hole collapses partway through, make sure to come and get me out. If you're not back after three days, I'll try to remember. We have three days of gameplay. We are coming up on time, though, because I have other places to be for now. Good old Nalgene would never fail me in a time like this. Yeah, we finally took Tratton down. Yeah, but we too are. Yeah, I'm at my limit. Hey, you guys, stay with me. Thanks for everything, Bomber. This is it for us. So, since it's the end, let me ask you. Yeah, me too. I want to hear it, so I can die in peace. What, what is it? What do you want to ask? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Well, Bomber. Why do you fight? <sighs> what a nightmare. No. Oh. Where am I? Oh yeah, in the blast the floor gave out. <coughs> so that means, no way, I fell from up above? Shoot, just as I thought. Everything's all messed up. It kind of feels like I'm in a nightmare. I think I can walk. I've got no idea where I am, but first I gotta wake him up. Oh, we're hurt. We're hurting. Oh, 
Oh, I have to take one more health damage to use it. Mm, let's do a little bit longer. I run the risk now because I, I definitely need to split this up into two recording sessions, but now I'm pretty afraid that I might just end up with like a a real short session next time, depending on how long this video goes. Let's wake him up anyways, because I don't care. Python. Snake. Can you hear me? Snake. Snake. <laughs> Where am I? The explosion knocked out the floor, and we apparently fell down here. Are you okay? Ugh. Uh, looks like my arm is messed up. My legs seem okay. Okay, that's good. You wait there. I'll go wake up the others. Oh, he can't shoot straight no more. That's a problem. See, he looks like... Well, maybe not too much, but I thought he was wearing shorts when I saw that. Slug! Ah, bomber. Morning! Looks like he fell pretty far, huh? You okay? Considering I fell all the way down here with the rubble, I'm okay. I think that would actually make you less okay. This place, is this the underground shopping arcade Python mentioned? Probably, yeah. From the National Guard, that was pretty dirty. You wait there, I'll go wake up the others. Bold of you to assume that the military is actually that honorable. Have you read about the horrific stuff that the Navy SEALs do? And that's coming from someone who considers himself patriotic. Toad. Ugh. Bomber, is that you? Are you okay? At the moment, it doesn't look like the OCT is nearby. I'm sure they're on their way. Uh, okay, that explosion. <laughs> Getting done an explosion. That's not like you, Bomber. Shut up. Me. Looks like we're not all dead, but not really in fighting condition either. It's a miracle that we all survived. Pfft. That guy really screwed us. This is the Malloy Underground Shopping Area. The uh, case files of the Malloy Underground Shopping Area. It's all old and tattered, and all the people in the shops moved to the business district. So now most of the tenants have let the place fall into ruin. That's unfortunate. Yeah, man, what is it gonna... What is it gonna be like when I can finally go back outside to malls and stuff? Jeez. That's an existential question if I've ever heard one. So you plan to drop us down here all along. Son of a bad luck. Screwing me over with a bomb like that, he's gonna regret it. But what do we do? I mean, he's a demon too. Your attack, it didn't even work on him. I know. So I gotta figure out now. So don't give up. Yeah, if we give up now, then it's all over. Dots. No. Oh. Palmer, heads up. Rubble. Uh oh, QTEs. Huh. Ugh. Hey, are you two okay? Good thing you noticed, Slug. I was danger. Oh, he is dead AF. Slug, you're injured. Slow bleeding out noises. I'm sorry, it looks like I got stuck with that steel beam. You got stabbed? It's a lot of blood. <laughs> Thanks, Python, real helpful. Okay, let's test her. Let's take a rest somewhere quiet and safe. No, let's not test that, actually. Man, if we had two Ziploc bags. I see that big arrow. One looks deeper than I thought. And now we gotta stop the bleeding and get some rest. I'm sorry for holding you back. Idiot, why are you apologizing? Thought you gotta be skewered on some steel beams right about now. Well, gee, thanks for taking one for the team. But rest, how are we supposed to do that with all this stuff going on? I wanna know what the OCT's up to. Whether we move or hide depends on them. In that case, I'll go do some recon and search for medicine and bandages. Y'all stay here. I'm still mobile too. No, it's my fault. I'll go alone. Y'all rest here while you can. Why do you keep trying to fight on your own? Are we just holding you back or something? Red text flashback. Why do I fight? Okay then, we'll split into two groups. Bomber's going out on recon. I'll go too. I'll need to be there for support in case the stuff goes down. SHTF. Also, Toad, you better stay here and watch over Slug. The OCT shows up, takes Slug and hide. My arm is broken. 
I won't be able to. Guess we'll go out shooting. It's like that one... Oh, man. Bone Tomahawk. That was the movie where they, they had that one super snobby, like, gunfighter dressed in all white. Okay, I'll stay back. But seriously, are you okay, Python? Pretty far from okay. But it's not as bad as... That's not... That's not remotely helpful. Okay, let's go. All right. Little Devil Portable Vending Machine is still working perfect. Buy one of these. I don't remember anything about the combat in this game, but... Alright, let's go... Let's go wander around some for a few more minutes. Pretty dark. Looks like the sun's gone down, but... I know, if we turn on the lights, they'll find us. Let's keep going like this. This is not that dark. Uh oh. Damn, this is pretty messed up. Honestly, it could collapse at any second. Watch your step and your head. Okay, that's not a way to go. We got that earlier. The OCT! I can't fight like this. I gotta hide. Oh, hide in the shadows. I ain't doing anything. That's not bad. I kind of like that. Looks like they're gone. It looks like it. That was a close one. I gotta avoid fighting them for now. Fighting and escaping while carrying slug, that's impossible. Also, you're all pretty badly injured, too. Huh, <laughs> kinda, yeah. Breaking a bone hurts more than you think. Yeah, thanks. Splint it! There's a bunch of stuff around here that you could easily tie, like, some kind of support with. On the upper floor, and there'll probably be more of them. What do we do? We just stay here, they're bound to find us, and we'll keep going. Okay. Okay. Well, now I guess they open the way up for us. <laughs> Alright. Well. OCT. B3 was destroyed, and since the floor may collapse, it seems impossible to search. We'll need Living Dead to search that area. Okay, let's get it done. Get her done! Living Dead? What is that? No idea. Maybe it's that guy's nickname. Let's follow him. If we're lucky, we may be able to figure out the OCT's plans. It's literally just to kill you all. I don't... This dude is a freaking scarf on. You could easily have used that to stop the bleeding. Why are we wandering around up here? Just start ripping up your clothes and using them. Jeez. This is the easiest solution we had to, like, pack a wound. You gotta tie. You can tie a bandage up. You got a scarf. You can pat a wound. Come on. Be resourceful. Okay, soldier went by there. That was unhelpful. Ah, oh, I missed an item. Bomber. Hmm? About Toad. In her own way, she's got high expectations of you. So she really just wants to help out help you out any way she can. I know that! Mm. Slug and me, we feel the same way. On our own, we don't have the power you have. Plus, everyone's injured now, too. But even so, the least we can do is offer our support. We don't want to hold you back over some little injuries. So go ahead and use us where you can. Whatever anyone else may say, we trust you. Okay. Sure, thanks. Oh, God, no. No, thank you. Shoot, nowhere to hide. Got no time to move. Oh, F. 
Wow, they they did us in pretty fast. Can I like assassinate this guy? Oh, one can dream. Okay, this is worth a try, maybe. This path open up? Also, I can walk diagonally. Forgot about that. Oh, bye. Okay, I forgot about this conversation. Let's just go ahead and breeze on by. I will say, now that I've got a little bit of downtime, that I, I may eat a little bit of crow about this, but I do think that this game, at least this chapter, it seems a lot more like, I don't know if I would say technologically, but it definitely seems more advanced than like some of the previous chapters, you know? I like the, uh, whatever the effect is when it says like, oh, don't move, that was really cool. So I hope they bring that back. That one, that effect seemed really, really interesting. Oh, they didn't like that one. Okay, we're gonna give this one more go before I am officially out of time for the session, so I'll have to see... I guess maybe I'll just render up a, an episode first, and then I have no idea how much longer is left for this game. I usually assume they sit around two hours total, excluding my like poor gameplay. So we're probably sitting at maybe another half hour on this, so I'll just have to rethink that. All right. Let's go ahead and skip this conversation, because we all have high expectations of this game nonetheless. Uh, maybe I should not have saved over that slot, come to think of it. Oh dear. What is the way to sneak by this section? Hmm. I wonder if I'm not supposed to go that way. Okay, so that way is always a dead end, it seems. Oh wait, no it's not. I just had to not move. Shh. Hey, heard you've been looking for me. Lieutenant Strada. Don't say my name. The rule says you have to use the demon admin code when we're outside. For reals? Oh, well, that's right. My apologies. Speaker will be arriving shortly. I'd like you to come pick him up. Uh, okay, I'll go pick him up before he goes off on his own. Was Spika always a guy? Fascinating. Wow, that was close. Hey, don't say. They looked over this way. We've been screwed. Seriously, this is bad for my heart. But hey, you hear that, Python? Uh-oh. Yeah. Use the demon admin code outside. That sounded important. I only code in a <laughs> Python. What does it mean? Have they started using demons? I don't code. I really don't. It's bigger than that. They use the word rule. So that, for that unit at the very least. It means demons are officially accepted now. But they're the National Guard. I don't get it. That speaker they mentioned. That may be a demon too. We better find out just what they are. Alright, cool. Well, that's gonna be it for this session since I gotta go do other stuff. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe if the game is not as long as I think, this might... This might not be the end of a video per se, but you might actually hear me pick up after this now. Or not. <laughs>